Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shots, and I'm not the Madden Cheese as always. Got another top five video for you today. Today, we'll be doing top five blitzes. I already did top five defenses, top five passes, and top five runs. I'll try to put a link in the description for all those videos. Other than that, if you guys want to see me update this video throughout the year, make sure to hit the like button or let me know in the comment section. Uh, I'll try to update these videos throughout the year periodically as the games update, as the game changes, uh, to keep you guys ahead of your competition. A lot of these blitzes are going to be plays that were never on the internet before. For. They're straight out of my Kansas City Chiefs ebook. If you guys want to check out the entire ebook, I have a ton of blitzes in it. Link in the description below. You guys can always check that out. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into the video. We're going to go ahead right back to this play. We're going to pick the mid blitz. The only thing is make sure you have as much speed as possible on the outside. Like right here, I don't think uh, Campbell's going to really do a great job, but he'll be fine. I'm not really going to change him either because I don't really know who's fast. Uh, and then you make sure that you have some speed on your inside linebackers too because you're going to get pressure from both of those spots. So this play right here, in the past, I used to run it like this. I'll show you the old way I used to run it where basically I would just spread the defense as much as possible and bring this guy down to the gap. Now, that's still, you know, decent, but ultimately the best way to do it now is by pinching everything. You want to I don't want to I don't want to pinch the, uh, the 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 DBs though. I just want to pinch the the linebackers typically, bring them in as close as possible, and then I'm just going to guess pass pretty much every time. I still want to come down this gap, and there's a very important reason for that. I'll go over longer uh, in in the video, but ultimately um, you can get a lot of switch pressures if you do the trick that I just did there. And that's pretty much what's going to make this play successful. We'll go to the replay right off the bat because you can see how quick that got in. Uh, and, and Mahomes is running for his life. So really what makes this pressure work, I don't. I didn't see how many people actually actually blocked. I'm going to guess it was five, which, yeah. So we had five on five, five on six. So you typically should get one guy free in, in a situation like that. But the way that I'm running this, you're going to get two guys free. Both the edge guys are going to come in free. And that's really because of what I'm doing with this, uh, with this safety. So this guy right here, I'm going to basically create um, some switches on the inside of the defensive line or the offensive line a lot of times by basically strafing right across the face, basically looking like I'm threatening to the point where I might actually blitz, and that's going to create switches. Basically, what I'm talking about when I come to when I call switches is these um, these these inside linebackers. A lot of times will get free because the interior guys will pay attention to me. Man, I hate these trying to trying to click on to the damn guy. Well, it's the it's the middle linebacker next to me. So he, yeah, got him. Thank you. So the middle linebacker next to me, he's he's he has the opportunity to come in free because watch how this guy switches off on him. He, it's, that's not a pass. He's not a pass rush. He actually switched, and then I got like a stupid animation where like switch back but you can see right here like i said he, he this is this is a look you get a lot of times where the guard will switch off and let him come in free so we'll do that again um ultimately i have to pay attention to the running back when i make my strafe adjustment i can either strafe to follow my my running back assignment or if he's blocking i would just strafe in the opposite direction where there's three receivers that's probably one of the things that people will probably struggle with is you have to know where you're going pre-snap so if the running back goes down the pattern, I have to follow him, but I have to strafe in that direction. If he doesn't, I have to go in the opposite direction. There, that was a play action. See, once again, both guys get off the edge. Next up, we got the safety blitz three. All we're going to do here, bring this guy outside. Pinching the line, if it's, a, if it's the threat of a run play, it wouldn't necessarily say pinching the line. But pinching the line, bringing this guy right in here before I drop him back as a user. This is pretty much going to be the look. I mean, the safety is going to come off around the edge. Forgot the guess pass. So, different look now. Pretty much the same idea. I mean, if it's if the running back's blocking, bringing these guys both out to the edge is going to make the most sense. Uh, but ultimately, where like the running back, considering that he's facing uh, the direction he's facing for any play actions or handoffs, you actually want to. Make sure that you you do the uh, the shift in the opposite direction for two reasons: one for run defense, and then two because uh, the backside guy is going to get the pressure. So coming down on this gap once again, now we're gonna we get caught up on the on the spot on the spot there. The block caught us, but you can see how um, nobody really picked it up. Let's go to the replay quick. Like I said, my intention was for this guy to get picked up by the running back. 
uh, but he came around and the running back did eventually pick him up because he's facing him. That's why I was saying that based off of the direction where the running back is looking, like here he's looking to the left. So if it's a play action or a handoff, he's going in that direction, meaning that the backside guy is going to get him. And you can see right here, I mean, the guy doesn't even really block him. He makes a kind of an attempt, but it was he kind of just whiffs and just goes right, through, right around him pretty quick. So you really have two options here. Both guys are coming off the edge, um, but ultimately one of them is going to get picked up by the back. So we'll do that one more time. Same look with the shift. Like I said, it's best to set these guys up before you make the shift because you can see how um, how they're backing off there. I mean, I can I can also use her the the middle linebacker there, but you can see he's in a, he's in a deep third, so or deep middle third. So it's best just to use one of these guys and then bluff blitz this guy here. Guess pass. Like I said, that's always important. And this is pretty much the look. Either one of these gaps, it really doesn't matter. Um, and then you can see that time uh, he comes off the edge and the running back doesn't even have a shot. Next up, we got the weak safety blitz three. So this play right here, we're going to want to flip this. Uh, whatever way the direction the running back is going towards, like here, he's going to run either. If he runs an inside zone, he's running in that direction. He's running to the left. If he does a, a play action, he's going to the left, all that stuff. We're going to want the guy coming off the backside. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to uh, shift the entire defensive formation in that direction. Then we're going to put this guy here on a blitz as well and use her the safety. So this is basically going to be the setup, guest pass, and the guy's going to come off the backside edge. Now, I'm pretty much going to be using the entire center of the field with the safety here, uh, but that's fine because the pressure's worth it. And you can see right there, I mean, we come off and we get a sack fumble. Uh, with two guys, really, we're getting the pressure there, but you can see how easy that is. If you run it like this, I mean, you can run it like this where, where he's going in that direction. It won't really change too much. Um, you just have to basically set up the same way. Blitz this guy right at the A-gap. Um, I typically, honestly, I could use that guy. I could I could drop this guy down and have a similar effect as well. Make sure you get past, though. Um, and this is going to be a very similar look uh, where we get that same pressure. But you can see, obviously, the A-gap got picked up by the running back. So it, it, it can really work either way. It's really just up to how you do it. And like I said, you got to bring this guy here uh, right in the center there and bring him over that gap. So here he's actually doing that for me. So I'm just going to leave it. You can also, and if you want to, you can even, uh, you know, put him in a QB spy, uh, which helps to pull blockers a little bit more, in my opinion. Uh, but like I said right here, we're pretty much going to do that look again. And we're getting edge heat right off the backside. Next up, we got the cover one, Sting Weak. So this is another play. All I'm really going to do is I'm going to slide the, uh, or shift the entire uh, line, bring this guy over here a little bit. Obviously, we want to be in position here. This guy here, you know, we're, we're going we're gonna to man align these guys back. Uh, but ultimately, guessing pass and then bringing this guy down here and putting him on a uh, QB spy once again to try to pull uh, pull my defense, oh, pull the offensive line over. And then you can see we're just getting that edge pressure one more time. So really simple setup right there. So one more time, like I said, shift that line, bring this guy over here. Bring my, I got a man to line him back. Like I said, I want to make sure I bring him back, especially because of the, the opportunity for a run play. Guess, or, uh, guess pass. And then QB spy and come right in this gap. That's all we really got to do. And then, like I said, I'm just going to try to stick around just a little bit, just to make sure that that lineman doesn't doesn't peel back. And uh, that's it. That's all she wrote. I'm going to show you guys how to do a really good a gap blitz uh, from the uh, cover three. Or it's the cover three right there at the top from the three four bear. Uh, really, it's really simple. All you really have to do hit the right bumper. Uh, the R, it's R1 or the right bumper if you're on Xbox or PlayStation, and then you're going to pinch the entire defense. That's the first thing you want to do. Now, one of the things I don't like about that is typically your cornerbacks um, are susceptible outside. If you pinch the entire defense like that, uh, you can have your cornerbacks get beat on streaks. So that's something I'm going to adjust with in a minute here. So go ahead and pinch your defense. Then you're going to want to put the, uh, the defensive front on a slant inside. That's D-pad to the left and down. Uh, you'll see they look like this now. They all are kind of like, that's kind of where this pressure comes from. You can see um, they're all kind of crashing inwards in the one gap. This is basically going to glitch uh, the inside by giving switches or where they're going to switch them off and basically pass them off to nobody. So that's the second part. Third part, QB contain. That's hitting the uh, right bumper twice or the R1 button twice. And then I also like to uh, make sure that I uh, guess pass. Uh, I don't think that's 100% necessary. The last part and this is the part that's probably the hardest to figure out. Uh, was putting the B, the B guy here um, on a uh, QB spy. That's the outside linebacker. 
So that's basically the setup right there. That out that that QB spy really doesn't come into play at all. But without it, it doesn't work. So that's kind of you know for whatever reason that's kind of what makes this play successful. And then I'll go ahead and I'll let it run. You're going to see how these inside guys uh, a lot of times just basically switch off. Now it didn't work that time. Uh, I'll, I'll run it again for whatever reason. It's, sometimes it, it's a little spotty. So we'll go ahead and we'll do it again. Like I said, it can be a little bit spotty. So that's the look. So let's get this uh, let's get this rolling here. There we go. We got that switch right off the bat. So, so like I said, it can be a little spotty. It's not 100% accurate, but you definitely want to, if you haven't had the opportunity to use this online. I did use this online a couple times. I got to be honest. Um, I wasn't... Um, I wasn't too impressed with it. I thought it was okay, but you know, what I mean, ultimately, like, I, I find that, uh, you know, this isn't as good as you can see. The same guy gets through there. This isn't as good as it looks right now. It's definitely a good blitz. I would say one of the uh, bigger issues is, I mean, the setup's not too long, but it is a little bit of a lengthy setup. And then, like I said, it's not 100% guaranteed. You get that look a lot. I mean, obviously, if somebody's bearing in your face just like that, that's not going to be easy. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.